These, they're all great Canon lenses, but I've recently moved on from my Canon DSLR camera to a Canon mirrorless camera in the Canon EOS R series. And they don't fit. And that makes sense, because this camera has the EOS R mount, which is a brand new mount that Canon invented for their new mirrorless bodies. I had some serious soul searching to do. Did I really want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars kitting out my EOS R body with RF lenses? when I already had good usable Canon EF lenses just waiting to be used? Fortunately, at about the time of the release, they introduced the Canon EOS R adapter, and this adapter will couple with the body, get into place like that, and you can mount any of your Canon EF or EFS lenses, such as these, on your body with the EOS R adapter. Canon was well aware that millions of others like me, and maybe you too, also had perfectly usable Canon lenses with no mirrorless body to mount to. When you mount the Canon EOS R adapter to the body, it de facto becomes a DSLR EF mount, letting your lens behave exactly the same as your old Canon glass would on a Canon DSLR camera that you had before. The autofocus still works great, and whatever internal features your lens may have will still be firing on all cylinders with this adapter. When I made the switch to Canon's mirrorless line 10 months ago, I got only the kit lens plus a 35mm f1.8 STM lens for it, so I was pretty limited in terms of focal length. Especially compared to my old Canon DSLR camera body and the 9 EF and EFS lenses that I have here. They cover a wide variety of shooting situations. Now I'm able to pair the EOS R50 with all of my favorite lenses, and I really love using it with the Canon 24-105 that I have here. You probably have your own favorite lenses uh, that you've grown accustomed to shooting with Canon through all the years that you've been shooting with it. Um, another lens that I really enjoy shooting with is the Canon 10 to 18, which I know Canon just came out with an RF version of this lens, but uh, this is a lovely lens to shoot with as well. Super wide angle. I have a separate video on it. Um, I use this thing all the time. My thought was, why waste money on RF versions of lenses when you've got perfectly usable EF lenses that will work with it, with the Canon EOS R adapter? An added benefit is that many of the EF or EFS lenses, particularly in the used markets, are much cheaper than their R-series brethren, if there is even a match. Canon, as of 2024, is still releasing new RF system lenses pretty regularly, but there's still some focal lengths and apertures not covered. One of the questions I get a lot is about crop factor, and... This has no bearing on crop factor at all, this adapter. There's no glass inside of it. It literally looks exactly like half of a Canon 50 millimeter STM lens. So all it has is connections on the front and the back with the metal mount, and it allows the electronic circuitry to utilize autofocus and all features originally available on whatever lens you're using. Not to get too into the weeds here, but my EOS R50 already has a 1.6x field of view crop due to its APS-C size sensor, just like the Canon EOS 70D that I used to shoot with. So no real change for me from a shooting perspective. But if you were to go from a full frame DSLR camera, like a 5D for example, to a crop mirrorless or vice versa, it may be a bit of a change field of view wise for you. Another question I often get asked is, what about other lens brands? Will my Sigma, Tamron, Tokina, Samyang or other brand lens work uh, with this adapter on my EOS R body? Yes, it will. So I've just mounted a Tamron uh, 28 to 300 millimeter lens on the body. You can see the lens engage, and we will take a quick picture here. So it feels exactly like you're shooting with your old Canon DSLR camera in terms of the experience. If your uh, aftermarket lens originally had autofocus, it, will, it should work just as normal. If it was a manual focus lens, then it would still be manual focus. I've seen a ton of aftermarket brands offering their own version of a mount adapter. And I've used many different brands in other camera lines in the past, and by and large have not been super impressed. A lot of the times they have delays in focus and other things that really affect the shooting performance. And I've noticed in looking at reviews on some of the other brands that will remain nameless that uh, they, have s they have often exhibited similar issues. So spending a few extra bucks on this adapter I think is well worth it. Especially if you're talking about a Canon US R series body that's hundreds or thousands of dollars. Let's talk about build quality. Uh, it's got a metal mount on both sides. 
And like I said before, it really feels like just half of a 50 millimeter STM lens, both weight and size wise. It's quite lightweight at under four ounces, barely adds any weight to the front of the camera. So I've got the basic version here, but there's actually four total different adapters available. The basic version for 129, and then you have the adapter with the control ring. That's $70 more at 199 retail. And the major benefit there is the control ring, which allows quick access to adjust exposure settings such as ISO, aperture, and exposure compensation. If you're a regular shooter or rarely shoot in auto modes and need that level of adjustment on the fly, then that model could be a good fit. Particularly if you're using a large telephoto lens, it might be a bit tricky or uncomfortable to have to reach all the way to the front to adjust or do it in body. So adjusting close to the body while looking through the viewfinder, for example, could be pretty handy. There's a link down below for that one as well. The other two are a little more specialized. They add in a midway place drop-in filter, which allows circular polarizing filters to be used instead of outwardly on the lens glass front. If you're constantly switching out lenses, then that could be a good option for you as well, but it's quite a bit more expensive. You know, I'm really happy that I bought this adapter and that I'm still able to utilize my favorite Canon lenses and aftermarket lenses on this body because uh, it really would have been a waste of good glass. Uh, I could have sold them, but I didn't really want to sell them because they have a lot of fond memories for me. I hope that helps if you're potentially looking at getting this adapter. Let me know down below what lenses you have that you're excited to try out with an adapter.